Hey guys, it's Mike with RetroGameBoys.com. So some of you have been asking about setting up a quick tutorial just to show you the internals of the setup of my arcade cabinet. So what I'm going to do is just create a series of quick videos just to show you the parts that you need and how they all operate. Now for this setup, it's a little bit different. This is an original Z-Back cabinet. It's actually a Street Fighter II cabinet that was converted over to Area 51 when I purchased it. Uh, there were no controls, there were no joysticks, there were no buttons. I wind up uh, basically setting this all up myself. However, the holes were already punched in the metal because this was a Street Fighter cabinet. I just set up the HAP uh, joysticks and buttons, but I had to buy some of the internal components. Now, when this cabinet was received, uh, it was an Area 51 cabinet, not an original Area 51. It was converted because back in the day in the arcade, um, they used to basically reuse the cabinets, switch out the marquees, and just replace the main board so they can get different games in there without having to spend lots of money on buying new arcades. So when I purchased this, this was basically just an Area 51 cabinet. I wanted to convert it over to play Area 51, but then also play a lot of classic arcade games, but using the original CRT and speaker setup. So I chose the Pandora CX box, which does support VGA, as well as uh, HDMI, but this case it's set up for the uh, JAMA connection, which is this type of connection that you see here. So this one is basically powered, has the audio and the video all come out through this um, finger, gold fingers connection. Now to set this up so I can play my Area 51 box, uh, I went to mikesarcade.com. Now the, I'm not affiliated with mikesarcade.com. This is just where I purchased uh, these parts from. Um, this is basically a IO cabinet um, component interface that allows me to um, hook up the controls that you see here. So in this case here, we have six buttons and a eight-way stick for player one, six buttons, eight-way stick for player two, and then player one and player two start. So all of that basically plugs into this cable interface that you see here. And uh, I'll basically cover where you can buy these parts. So that covers the control part, and that just plugs directly into the Pandora box like this. Then this is a JAMA switcher, which allows me to hook up two uh, JAMA interfaces. So basically the Pandora box will plug in to this interface here, and then you have a cable, which you could also get at uh, mikesarcade.com that basically hooks up the other JAMA board, and you'll see they're clearly marked. So you have your main JAMA interface that comes off the power supply, which is this in the back, plugs into the input on the switcher, and then you could have your two JAMA interfaces, this case Pandora box, and this case whatever JAMA board you want to use. In this case, I'm using the Area 51 board. Okay, so that's it for this particular initial setup. Uh, you'll see um, the parts made available at mikesarcade.com. Um, that I will post in this video and then come back to me for more videos when I start hooking everything up. I also have purchased a new power supply, so I'll also um, create a video on that for you. All right, guys, take care.